to Pat and Rachel's Gardens here in northeast Kansas, in Olathe, Kansas, which is a suburb of Kansas City. Uh, we have a 10-acre certified organic farm, and we are interested in value-added processing so that farmers can sell more of what they grow, maybe sell it for a little higher price. And uh, the SARE grant is allowing us to spend a year researching this. We've done the literature review of what, what other people have tried, and uh, we're now um, in the middle of our own efforts. Uh, I can show you one, one sample of a successful product. We had strawberries that were perfectly ripe. We couldn't sell them, and we didn't want to throw them away. So what we did was we individually froze them. So uh, we, we have done this by, we have a certain protocol that we've uh, learned from our FISMA training is safe. And uh, we wash these, we take the, the caps off, we lay them out on a parchment paper tray and freeze them in our walk-in freezer. It doesn't take very long. Then we put them in 10 ounce bags, weigh them on the scale, and it comes out with something yummy. What we, what we did for our uh, processing, we bought a baker's rack that has 20 shelves, and we have these 20 shelves that are this big, and we cover them with the, uh, this, this, this parchment paper here. It's, it's made to fit on the baker's rack perfectly. And it sits there, you line them all up so they're not frozen together and we put them in the rack in the freezer. We actually do have a walk-in freezer, but not everybody does. But you could put them in a chest freezer. You could put them in a smaller freezer on a smaller cookie sheet if you were doing it on a smaller scale. We've sold ours at our farmer's market. I've taken a cooler down there a frozen with a frozen berries, and they, I sell everything I have when I come to go down there. People make smoothies out of them. They uh, juice them and we're charging a price that's higher than the, a pint of, uh, reg, of fresh strawberries because we have the extra labor involved. The, the butternut squash is a beautiful product when it's, when it's diced and it just glows. Um, people use it in soups and um, so that, that's one of the motivators, you know, you see something that is going bad and you spent all that time and effort putting putting it in the ground and taking care of it and then for it to not to bring something back to you it seems to be there's got to be a better way. SARE is uh, helping us and we hope to provide them some important uh, data about how things cost, how much it costs for equipment and and how much labor time it takes to add the value so a farmer can decide for himself or herself if, if it's going to be worth, worth their time.